Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is another beautiful day here in Washington State. It really is. Uh, yeah, we're here at um, a lake in Tuhuya in an Airbnb, as you can see behind me. Yeah, right here on the lake. Unfortunately, it's windy as. Uh, I think I'm still going to go out and try to fish later on this evening. I hope the wind's going to calm down. That'd be awesome. Uh, if not, we'll still go out and, and try to get on something. Still going to unload the yak. Uh, it's actually quite a long little walk to get it down here from the car. So... Um, yeah, let's go inside. Let me show you around the cabin. Okay, so I'm going to do the best I can with the light that we got in here, but uh, it's the living room here. Sorry, dining room. And you step up into the living room. It's got a wood stove. Some couches. Nice chair you could sit and look out on the lake. Or watch some TV. kitchen right around the corner walking down toward the front first bedroom actually the only bedroom dedicated bedroom if you want to say um, I think that's where mom's sleeping and then I am going to be up there's the Civic Noise. I'm stoked. I'm stoked on this. Um, oh, look at this. They've got a mount. Let's see if I can get the camera to pick that up. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go get the yak off the roof of the Civic, get it down to the dock, get all my fishing stuff down at the dock, move all my bags up here into the loft, and um, yeah, I'll see ya. All right, um, got everything unloaded, uh, settled in here to the cabin, and uh, got my yak down there. All right, uh, I gotta retie some things, and we're gonna head out fishing here soon, so. Yeah, let's get down there and um, get to retying. Alright y'all, uh, got a wacky rig tied up, got the big bait tied up, and uh, gonna tie up a spook, and we're gonna call it there and uh, get out in the water. Yeah, let's do it. Go. 
right, y'all, a little uh, update. I'm back. I caught one fish. It was a trout. Um, so then I switched to trying to fish for trout, and I couldn't catch any more. So, yeah, it's a little frustrating, but that's okay. I've got plenty of time to fish this lake and other lakes uh, surrounding. So uh, we're going to go back up in there and see what uh, see what's going on and probably get something to eat. Hey guys, it is later on in the evening. Um, just made myself a sandwich, watching some YouTube. Um, they've actually got pretty good Wi-Fi here. So, um, yeah, the last Airbnb we stayed at was a little more primitive than this one. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning as far as fishing goes. I don't know if I'm going to try this lake again or go to a neighboring lake. Um, we'll see. I'm kind of thinking about going to uh, Lake X. It's right around the corner, and I haven't fished it but once this season, I think. Um, so, yeah, anyways. I'm going to go get things wrapped up and uh, get the whole house sort of um, set for the evening. So I will pick this thing back up in the morning, and I'll see you guys then. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. I slept. Oh, uh, there's a bald eagle. Um, I slept way longer than I wanted to. I woke up at 4 with intentions to get out on the lake and fell back asleep and woke up at noon again. So, yeah, it is currently 1.30 and um, I'm just now getting to the point where I am ready to get out on the lake. The wind is much better than it was yesterday. Um, so that's a that's a so that's a bonus. Um, yeah, before we get out there, I just wanted to sort of show you what uh, I brought with me, knife wise, because I always bring a few knives whenever we do something like this, whenever I go somewhere new, um, just because I find that um, you're in a different setting. You know, there's always more opportunities for uh, taking photos and stuff like that. So um, that's the reasoning behind bringing these. Uh, yeah, brought the. Native 5, brought the 940 Osborne, brought my pair of 3, which is what I've been carrying most of the time, and of course, couldn't leave my Manix 2 at home, so, yeah, and I did bring a fixed blade, wanted to talk about this for a minute, um, yeah, CRKT Hunt and Fish. Discontinued model, I'm sure. It's actually a nice knife. I think I paid 60, 65 bucks for it a few years ago. Quite a few years ago. And uh, it's got a real leather sheath. Yeah, still smells like leather. Um, it's 8CR, the steel isn't the greatest, um, but if you don't mind sharpening your knives then it's not that big of an issue. Yeah, so I just brought this along, um, mostly to take some pictures with it. Don't really have any uses for a fixed blade. Maybe some food prep tonight. Um, gonna be cooking some catfish. Yeah, well, it looks like there's some other people out on the lake already. And man, this the wind is better than it was yesterday, but it's still still a pretty stiff breeze blowing. Um, it did not take me long. Yesterday when I went fishing, I I didn't really get any footage um, just because nothing really happened. But um, I paddled my way all the way to the very what would that be south side of the lake, and uh, the wind pushed me all the way back to here. Um, at the north side of the lake in no time flat um, Yeah, it can be really frustrating fishing in windy conditions in a kayak uh, You're constantly making adjustments and stuff like that, but I don't know it makes it worth it when you catch good fish Because you put that much more work in in my opinion. I don't know Okie dokie 
uh, enough talking. I think it's time to get out on the water, and um, I'll bring you guys along with and do a little better job of filming. I have this idea in the back of my mind to go catch some trout at uh, the old Lake X. It's just around the corner. I could easily do it. Um, I don't know though. I think I'm gonna put it in and try to try to get something out of this lake. All right, y'all. Let's get out on the lake. Let's do this thing. I got a bass, finally. He's fighting like a dog. Yeah, buddy. Finally, I have been working for this fish. Thank you. Welcome back to the Dropping Dogs Podcast. Guys, here we go again. If you guys want to see this video, check that shit out. I'm not reintroducing him. I'm not talking about our friendship and how long we go back. We're here to talk about what everyone wants to talk about. Later, brother. Finally. So we, we did this podcast two weeks ago. Other than the shitty tires that they put on there because the beach brothers are all fucking Yeah, they just look so much more good. But I did dump here and he played it down. So we did that. And then I just did that. And so the problem that I've experienced so far with Thomas and Jason is really like it's a little trip. It's not that you feel it. little update um got some pleasure boaters out here and uh, the way this lake is shaped it's going to turn into a damn washing machine so i got one fish i think i'm going to call it here and uh think of a new plan a new lake um yeah see you guys uh in a bit hey guys it is the next morning it is checkout day unfortunately we got to get out we got to get out of here by 11. But it was a good trip. It was a good trip overall. Uh, got some fishing in. Um, got some pictures taken. Not as many pictures taken as I wanted to, but I got some. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful out here, guys. Uh, I was watching the eagles do their thing yesterday afternoon. There's a pair of eagles that live on this lake. I'm sure there's more than a pair, but there's a pair that I saw yesterday, and they were fishing. They were having a lot more luck than I was, let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to end this video. Um, not much more to show you, just packing up and going home. So, sorry I didn't get much more... F sorry I didn't get more... Sorry I didn't get more footage of me filming. I'm still working out how to work with one GoPro. You, if you didn't know, I'm down to GoPro. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm still figuring out how to uh, how to film with one GoPro again. So, uh, bear with me. But all right, I think. All right, that's gonna do it. Thanks for the continued support in the channel, guys. It means the world, and we will see you on the next one.